Steve from Custom Table Tennis, and what we're going to have a look at today is our um, balsa, balsa carbon. Let me just tell you what's in it first before we go into dimensions. Um, so what we've got, we've got a cypress top, so cypress wood, good for driving, blocking. It's not too hard, it's not too soft. Um, spinners can use it, uh, flat hitters, blockers. Um, very, very popular, but more so that you can keep the weight of your bat down. So what I mean by this then is your average weight of a bat is between, let's just say between 80 and 95. We've got some bats that we've had recently from other companies and they're, um, they're supposed to be 85 and they're 10 grams heavier. Ours are under strict quality control. We wasn't going to do this video until we found that the company was able to supply these blades in a particular weight and when we sell one of these, I think they're all at the moment, um, let's just have a look at the weight. Let's just calibrate the scales because we've had them a while. So as you can see, the scales are accurate. We've got 100 grams on there and we've got 100 grams on there. So we wanted 70 or below. So let's just have a look at the weights before we do anything else. We've got 68, 67, And 68 so we'll settle for that all day long they're not even 70 so they're well under for us so let's have a look I think we're on a standard size so width wise it's a little bit under your norm a little bit more compact so we've got about 148 that way by 157 157 so probably two mil wider so it's more a little bit longer than it is wide compared to our standard stuff but then they probably did that to get the weight down um, let's have a look at the width, the, the width then because you've got to realize that this is nine millimeter now the vernier gauge battery is just gone so I'm doing it old style but you can clearly see there let's have a look about eight eight or nine thick so comparable to your your TSP balsa 8.5 because when you buy an 8.5 you've got another millimeter to add on there uh, you've got your 8.5 which is your balsa core and then you've got your other layers you've got your fiberglass and your outer ply so comparable but strangely enough um, these have been going out out quite a bit recently I think because of the weight nice and light not too bulky I mean yes they are thicker if you think that your average thickness of a blade is 5.5 to 6 so you're looking at 8 or 9 on these um, wish the vernier gauge is working but it's not so then when we come on to the bat then generally what we recommend on this bat is the Exium Vega Europe DF because if you saw the other video about weights, you will realize that this is about 59 to 60 grams a sheet. So then the overall bat, and we're hoping to get under 155. Let's have a look where we are with this. So happy with that, 152, 152 grams. So if you think of a conventional bat then, you're talking of a weight of between yeah we do get light ones around about hours as sometimes we get them at 166 to 170 but your average is 75 to 80 grams so if you've got um you're getting on a little bit like myself you're at um you just want something lighter you've got injuries you've got a rotator cuff or wrist or fingers and you don't want anything too heavy um and you don't want to sacrifice the speed that is probably where you need to be didn't think I'd ever do this video because the company where we got them they, they, they literally out of a hundred we might get 10 or 11 because I simply won't have them over 75 grams because there's absolutely no point so with that stringent on these if they're not under 70 grams we don't want them so the company who makes them for us they literally have to weigh them if they want to sell us any blades. 
So that's how strict we are on our quality control. These are actually available in our um, blade clearance section as well because uh, I don't know whether I mentioned at the beginning of the video about the worldwide shortage of balsa due to the wind turbines. I don't know whether I, I mentioned that, but all the wind turbines that you see, the big white ones, the balsa, and then they're encased with some kind of material to keep it all together. So consequently, there's a worldwide shot of, of balsa. This is nice balsa, nice and white. Your other place to get your nice light balsa blades are from Woodnut. He will only buy premium A grade, A plus grade balsa from Europe. It needs to be nice and white. It doesn't want to be this dirty grey stuff because um, the dirty grey stuff is the old and the white is the new growth which it tends to be um, lighter. So we just thought we'd do this video because people have been asking, oh, what's your lightest bat? And I says, well, do you know what? Now we know we can get some more of these. I don't feel like I'm wasting my time doing this video. So if you're in the market for a lightweight bat, um, I think these are 54.99 for the blade. And then with these on, um, I think we're 119.99 actually we're going to do another one with our light rubber with the omega 7 europe and today i'm going to ma make another one of those so you've got two options you can stay at the the 37.5 or you can go to the 42.5 degree hardness so steve from custom table tennis hit the like and subscribe and get your bits and pieces from custom table tennis uk We'll still keep doing those videos Tuesday and a Friday at 1pm. Bye for now.